Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together with Mr. Happy0121. Today, the modern day equivalent of Crockett and Tubbs are bringing you a chicken popper review. What does that even mean? The Crockett and Tubbs reference? Yeah. You bring up a great point because according to our demographics that YouTube mm -hmm. provides us, approximately 50% of the people weren't even born when Crockett and Tubbs were on TV. Wow. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit right here and wait on you to go open another window and just pull up a picture of Crockett and Tubbs. And then after you do that, we're going to come right back for the close-up and we'll be exactly right in this position waiting for you. And now the close-up of the chicken poppers. You can get 10 for $6 or 15 for 9 which to my mind, I really don't know if that's a very good deal. These may be the greatest things ever because they are sure priced like it. Q is off to the side. He is eagerly awaiting these chicken poppers. So let's get to them. How about that close up? Crockett and Tubbs. He still don't get it. If you guys went and looked at the picture, I'll dumb it down for you. Crockett, Tubbs. Crockett, Tubbs. Okay. okay. He's gonna forget all about this. He won't even look it up when the video's over because I'll just keep talking. So it's, it's better than gold. But yes, the modern day Crockett and Tubbs. <laughs> Now, are you ready for this chicken popper? I think so. $9 for 15 of them. Don't have a calculator, but I, I probably in the neighborhood of 70 cents a popper. Okay. Sounds reasonable. If they were a dollar a piece, it would be 15. So yeah, somebody could take a calculator. If Ryan the Stunner is watching, oh. he's already done the math in his head. There's really not much build up to this. It's a piece of chicken. So we're gonna stick it in our mouth, chew it, and then give you an opinion. I don't know, man. It's hard not to build up nuggets that cost this much. I'm expecting a lot. Me too. Buy one. Buy two. We would be remiss not to break out the ranch for the third and final bite. Ranch? I'm gonna do one of those world famous cop outs that I hate when reviewers do. Yeah. I'm gonna give two grades. Oh, okay. Grade number one for the chicken itself 75. Now, you may think that we've graded stuff that we weren't fond of higher. This was the definition of no flavor. There was no flavor to this. There was no flavor to this. They, it's like, make a commitment. Put some kind of flavor or spice in the breading. It was like eating, I don't know, air. Chewy air. Chewy air. Didn't even taste like chicken. It just tasted like the most tasteless thing I've ever had. The ranch, of course, improved it because then it at least tasted like ranch flavored the, the, air. The ranch wasn't that good either. No, but it had flavor rather than just like chewing nothing. 75. The value of chewing nothing for 15 of these at nine bucks, a 10. I think I'm being kind. I think that's maybe the most overpriced, worthless item that we've done in a long time. You can give one grade or two. What grade do you give the flavor? 75, I agree with you 100%. I'm not gonna give two grades, but I do think it's like way overpriced. Mc the McDonald's um, chicken nuggets are like a thousand times better. And oftentimes they have flavor and you can get 20 for five. Yes, that's now, a great deal. This is probably a steal. These probably cost as much as McDonald's to make to produce them. So oh they're yeah. probably making, they're printing money. Here's what I'll say about these for the health nuts. But then again, you're eating breaded nuts. chicken from a pizza place, so you're probably not a health nut. When you bite into it, you're not getting that prefab chicken where they just mash a bunch of chicken breasts together and spit it out in the shape. There's actual chicken in that, but it didn't improve the flavor or the price any to me. It tastes like those, this, like the Tyson chicken that you can buy. Probably is the Tyson chicken you can buy. <laughs> Tyson has contracts with a lot of these really? places, with KFC, uh, Burger King, McDonald's, etc., etc. So, yeah, it's very likely. So we come back after a little bit of a hiatus, and this is what we get. We may go back into hiatus. Uh, there's nothing to review. You know what Ian K reviewed in his last video? What? A cheeseburger from the Costco uh, food court. What? A cheeseburger <laughs> from the Costco food court. I guess we could go to like Walmart and get a corn dog on a stick and try that for our next review, but that'd be corny. Literally, <laughs> probably just gonna go with we're gonna be back when there's something to review. Now that our parameters are pretty wide, we review everything from cereal to fast food 
So we'll hit something sooner or later. We should review some hot sauce or something. We're going to be those guys? Sure, why not? Hot sauce guys. Some MREs or those uh, military ration things? So you're just literally <laughs> getting... He's, He's now having fun at my expense. He's getting what? out the scraper no and way. scraping the bottom of the barrel. No real suggestions. He's just named like two things <laughs> that I've always said when we hit the bottom and we splat, out will come in the MREs and out will come the hot sauce. Do you think there's like an MRE hot sauce? Or we could put hot sauce on MREs. Just, just stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> the search for the ramen noodle Pringles continues. I'm sure other people will have them before us, but I have four of these Dollar General stores in my immediate area, and I'm just making a circle, going day by day. Sooner or later, they will be ours. Hopefully, as you're watching this, it's on a Saturday. Normally, we do a live stream, 10 p.m. on a Sunday. This is breaking news for him. I have some personal commitments at 10 p.m. on Sunday, so we're not gonna do the live stream until 10 p.m. on Monday. Breaking news. And so now, it's up to you folks. Help us with the one in seven, is please, Put your suggestions for the one in seven for the Monday video, Monday live stream in the comments below. Do you have anything you want to add? I have a, actually have an idea for one in seven. Root beer on like a um, rum noodle chicken packet. There's one. So there's one. There's one. an idea. Yeah. It's out there. It's out there. So give us more and then we'll, we'll juggle them around and figure it out. After a bunch of editing, I'm going to go get this full of lozenge and perhaps a multivitamin. And we will see you guys on Monday. If you see anything of interest, let us know and we'll go review it because right now we are scraping bottom. There is nothing that interests us. So perhaps it'll interest you. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media, Mr. Happy0121. Stay vigilant. Thanks, Tubbs. Don't know what that means. I'm now gonna show him a picture of Crockett and Tubbs and just see what his reaction is. He doesn't, you know, he is like Silent Bob, except he talks and the reaction portion is quiet. Watch him react sometimes. There's no reaction. Kind of like that. <laughs> Until he breaks, and that's why I'm always so proud when I get him to break.